Is he or she family-oriented? Do you realize by saying I do, we are declaring war on the enemy because he hates marriage God's way? <laughs> These are just a few of the questions that I've, I've really been thinking about. Hmm. So I know that's a lot. What are your thoughts so far? I think definitely those are questions that, you know, you should really think on. And I and I honestly think, I was trying to write them all down, but I only got to six. <laughs> but I honestly okay. think if you actually sit there and try to answer those questions, even while you're single, mm-hmm. that you can learn a lot about yourself. Right. And the things that you want out of that relationship and the things that you do not want out of that relationship. A lot of times we'll get questions like this and we overlook the fact that we have to hear both sides, even for myself. We have to hear the good side that we think and the bad side. So I think these are questions that, you know, everybody should write down, especially if you're single and you're trying to get married, you know, so that you have some idea, some type of idea who you want, and that way that scarcity mode would not keep kick in especially for those of us that's over 40, because it can easily kick in when you get to think, wow, everybody in my family didn't get married except me, and then next thing you know, you be pick somebody that you don't really need just based off of the fact that everybody in your family got married and have none of these qualities that you just listed. Have none of them. That's true, which leads me to one more question that I, I think needs to be added. Um, why do you want to get married? Is it because you want to be connected to somebody? Or do you want to be married because this is what you feel God has planned for your life? Wow. Everybody doesn't have to be married. Yeah, that that is something, that is a question. Anybody want to answer it? <laughs> why do you want to get married? Anybody, just go. I think we all should just answer it right now just so we can see where we are in our mindset. I'll go first. Okay. Since I asked the question, because these are questions that I've actually, I had to really sit and ask myself. I want to get married because I want to be connected who, to the person that God ordained me to be married from, the one that I am his real. I want Amen. to be connected to the person that I can do ministry with, build a family with, have a life with, that I don't feel like I need to shrink me and put me in a box so that the that it doesn't take away from their light because my light is bright. I don't want to be married to be whole because I'm whole on my own. And those are just my reasons. Okay. Well, I want to be married because I want that partner. I want my the other piece of my real. I want something I can build a legacy with, a partnership. I want to have sex. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's practically normal. It is. Uh, I, w- I want to um, have that best friend, that Clyde. I, I just want that help me. We were we were here to coexist. We were placed on this earth to coexist, to be partners anyway. So that's why I want to be married. Amen. Who was that speaking? I didn't catch the voice. Kelly. Okay. Welcome, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Who else wants to go next? Okay, I'll go. Okay, go ahead, Amanda. Was that you, Amanda? No, I asked for Amanda. (laughs) 
Um, I think it's the right thing to do in God's eyes to be married because he don't like shacking up and stuff, and he'll bless a marriage. Amen. But why do you want to be married? Um, I guess um, to build something up with that man and go forth. Amen. Anybody else? Okay. As for me, you know, we didn't get time to think on these questions, but <laughs> but I'll just put it out there. But as for no, me, as this is just, I'm sorry to cut you off, but that's just I want to. I've thought about them, and I want to make sure that I throw them out, and I will post them mm-hmm. in the uh, group chat. Well, that's good. That's good that we're going raw with it because, like I said, it it shows us where our mindset is right now. Um, For me, why I would want to be married would be because I do want to be with the other half that God has intended me to be with. I want to be able to have someone that I can have and just, you know, love on and someone I can build with, someone that I can push to their full potential. And when I fall down, they push me back up. You know, I just want someone to walk with through this journey called life. Mhm. Those are wonderful reasons to want to get married. They really are. Thank you. <laughs> and God doesn't want for us to be alone. That's why God gave um, Adam Eve. Amen. And that is our role as to be helpmate, to be encouragers. To stay in their blind spot, to be prayer yeah. warriors for them. Don't want to grow old and lonely. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody trying to be yeah. old and lonely. <laughs> and that's no. a beautiful thing, though, because do you know how many women are scorned and broken and so bitter that they don't even want a man looking at them right now? So yeah. I bless the Lord that we're able to even just sit on this line and joke, you know? <laughs> right. So I'm going to bring her to the max, beyond the max. So what I wanted to um I wanted to give you ladies an exercise. Yes, Amanda, we got homework. <laughs> but I want you to <laughs> Hey, when well, we do it in the um bond, because you always talk about we got homework. We got homework. You, you be the one, you want. be the one always. <laughs> well, I love you got to put it in the key <laughs> man box. I'm at work. <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna do. I want you to think about all the relationships that you have been, like, really, really serious in and write down on one side of the sheet of paper all of their positive qualities. On the side, all of the negative things. And see if there's a pattern between that and the relationship throughout your relationships with different people that you've been real serious about. And if you continue to see the same type of thing going on over and over and over again, those are some things that you really need to place before God because that's an area in your life that needs to be healed. Okay. You can put that in the Kiva inbox. You want to put that in the I'll put that in the Kiva inbox. Okay. I have to get it tomorrow. (laughs) Amen. So let me ask you, ladies, what do you think about having a scarcity mindset now, how your outlook on it in your life? Hmm. I look at scarcity. Okay, go ahead, somebody. I'll go first. Um, for myself, as I was studying this. Sorry, could you repeat the question? I really couldn't understand it. Sorry, just Kelly. Okay. Um, 
now that you understand basically what scarcity is, how do you see it playing out in your life? Okay. Well, I see that. Oh, I'm sorry. My phone was on mute. You said, how do I see scarcity playing playing out out in my life? Okay, let me go Google the word. Okay. Um, scarcity, the way I see it is, scarcity is a state of fear. And if you live your life in fear, if I live my life in fear that I won't ever get in a relationship or I'm scared that somebody's going to hurt me, then I'm not going to see the abundance that God has. And whether we like it or not, we do live in a world where people are just going to be people. So the way I see it is you just have to take your time and get to know people And, you know, just as they come, you know, just be willing to see them for who they are. And whenever you see them messing up, either call them on it or you leave them alone. That's the way I see it. But scarcity will not keep me in no bad relationship. I can tell you that now. I'm not going to stay with a man just because I might have a fear of wondering when, when will I get married, if I will ever even get married, or that fear of, being alone by myself. I'm not afraid to be alone by myself because I love myself. So I'm not afraid to be by myself. So when I think about scarcity and how I feel about it right now, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm I'm just looking at life like one day at a time, whatever comes my way. I said I'm not going to put my focus toward relationships, but I will live life. You know, I'm not trying to focus really right now in my life, in my career, on no one set relationship right now. But I said if God puts it in my path, then I'll be able to recognize that he was from God. And I won't deny that love. I'll still continue to grow. Amen. 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 But I do know that um, for me, I'll go next. Scarcity, I recognize it, as, as, like I said, as I was studying it in order to be able to share this with you, that basically it um, – It affected my life in a lot of different ways um, throughout my life. Um, Early on, it was because I witnessed my parents' marriage, and it was not a good one. I love them both. And I'm not saying anything to you guys that I would not have said and have not said to them. They were good people. They just weren't for each other. And because I I lived through their marriage, I decided at eight years old that I never wanted to get married. And I endured, uh, not endured, that's not the word I need to say. Sorry. I experienced a lot of relationships with guys that were real happy that I was the one that was like, oh, I'm not the chick that's going to be pressing you to get married because that's not something I want to do. And it's because I had experienced their marriage and the marriages that I had around me weren't always the best either. So it fed into the thought that I already had. And it wasn't until years down the road that I was actually in a church where I did see a lot of happy and productive marriages that my mindset shifted. So it goes back to what I was saying earlier about making sure when you um, are ready to want to grow in a different direction, being around people who are displaying the thing that you want. So that's one way that scarcity um, impacted my life. Another way that it impacted my life was there were dreams that I wanted to accomplish and I listened to all the negative things that I felt or I thought or maybe even heard somebody say that I couldn't do this because of that or I shouldn't be do that. Who would want to listen to me? Who would interact with me? Or who would even um, buy services or businesses that I started? Mm -hmm. So it really is a, a mindset. Yeah. I, me, I look at that word scarcity, too, like going through a bad relationship and just stepping back out there, but don't rush it and just take your time with the next one. Because if you don't try, 
You might not know what you're going to miss.